All right, hey, oh man, I gotta hurry up. It's starting to rain, but I wanna talk a little bit about my trip to Cambodia. Myself, another teacher, and someone else who works at the school. We had a long weekend, so we headed to Cambodia. 4.30 in the morning, caught a bus. Took about two and a half hours to get to the border between Vietnam and Cambodia. So once we got to the border, we had to pay to leave Vietnam. And then I didn't have a visa to enter Cambodia yet. And we were out in the country. This was a small, rural little town. Took, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour to get through. And the bus didn't have the proper paperwork to actually go into Cambodia. They let the bus go but they already told us this bus won't be our means of transportation for the way home. All right. Once we're in Cambodia, uh, it's another three or four hours to Phnom Penh. We stop along the way about halfway and we get some food. There's some lady holding, uh, it looks like if you made fajitas with crickets and then all these other fruits, vegetables and things. One of the foods we tried was this weird looking bread and it was called floss bread and it definitely wasn't very tasty. And my first impression of the food in Cambodia is that it doesn't hold a candle to the food in Vietnam. All right, we get to Phnom Penh. It's similar to Ho Chi Minh City's traffic, but there's tuk-tuks everywhere. Pretty congested. Uh, I don't think there's much public transportation either. Now we get dropped off and they show us this van that'll be taking us back. And if you see right here, right there, yeah. The van is already being loaded down with boxes, but more on that after. All right, we're all starving, so we go to this mall, try some Cambodian food. Definitely better than the uh, bugs and everything and floss bread we had earlier. After walking around the mall, uh, there's some dark clouds coming in. It starts pouring. We use an app called Grab. They also have Grab in Vietnam, but there's really no tuk-tuks in Vietnam, or at least that I've seen yet. The tuk-tuk picks us up, takes us to our hostel, we agree to meet in a couple hours and we go explore Phnom Penh. The nice touristy areas are a lot to see. We're walking around. Oh, uh, we're seeing all the monuments and statues and people do this like jazzercise type dancing. Seems to be big in Vietnam also in the public, which is good, you know, hell yeah, get everybody moving. I'm all for that. So we spend the day walking around, taking photos, seeing what there is to see, grab some dinner, and we have plans for 6 a.m. to take another six-hour bus to Sim Reap, which is where Angkor Wat is. Halfway, we stop for lunch, nothing too special. We get to Sim Reap, take another tuk-tuk to our hotel, get settled in. We walk nearby and grab some dinner and then quickly take another tuk-tuk to Angkor Wat. It's $37 to get in. Some of the temples close at 5.30, so we had to kind of do a hurry through. So we ended up getting another tuk-tuk for the day, and he was our driver, took us to all the temples and back home to our hotel. It was pretty sweet. I really wish we had another day or two just to see all the temples, but oh well. I'm glad I got to go. The way home was a completely different story, though. I was in a different van than the rest of the people. I felt terrible because I was supposed to be there at, I don't know, noon or 12.15. I arrive around one. I didn't get to where we were all meeting where the van was taking us back 
to the border of Vietnam and Cambodia until well after one. And this guy is giving me a desk there. And I feel terrible because I see his son and he has an IV bag hanging from the handle. There's 20 people in the van, plus all this cargo, heavy boxes behind my head. I was a little nervous. We made it back to the border of Vietnam and Cambodia, so everything worked out fine. Trip to Cambodia was really sweet. I enjoyed it. Definitely a country worth seeing, and I wish I had a little more time to spend there. A few tips I would say are, don't worry about exchanging your dollars into the local currency. Everyone takes dollars there, and they'll definitely give you the local currency back. Seems like everything you ask the price, everything cheap is, oh, one dollar, one dollar. And the other thing is definitely get the Grab app because the Tuk Tuk drivers will straight up hustle you if you don't. And it just becomes a giant pain. Like I don't want to constantly haggle with how much it's going to be just to get down the street. And you're going to inflate the price by three times. When we got to the temples though, I wish we had a lot more time. They're amazing. Maybe even getting a guide. They kind of swarm you and they want to give you a personal guide. I don't know. We said no. In hindsight, maybe knowing a little bit more about the history and the buildings and... I got some good photos. Maybe I should take a little bit more videos there. Sim Reap was pretty sweet. There was this guy, a Buddhist, and he sold me some pretty cool stuff. He had these <laughs> magic peeing baby statues he makes. You soak them in cold water and then you pour hot water on them and they, they pee. Uh, mine, unfortunately, didn't even make it out of the hotel room. It flew out of my suitcase somehow and broke. So that's kind of a bummer. But I got the videos and the memory, so can't beat that. Yeah, the food was definitely better in Vietnam, but maybe I didn't try enough. And after being in Vietnam, things definitely seemed a lot more expensive there. I really liked Angkor Wat. All the temples were amazing. Definitely worth checking out. I think if that's the only thing you did in Cambodia, it'd be a really amazing trip. Sim Reap was pretty sweet. Nothing too amazing, but definitely a nice city. So thanks for tuning in again, and we'll see you next time.